we got this lovely shipment homer's overall ranch let's see what we've got here go ahead and chop that bad boy open Alrighty. Oh, it's a oh it's a cold pack well, that's cool it's a Alright, let's slide that out and let's see what we've got. And we have a couple packs of ground beef. This must be the dry ice. Yep. All right, so this is two pounds of the watermelon beef. I'll uh, give some contact details for the company. Uh, either in the description or I'll put it up on screen. Um, we're going to give this a try and see if it's any good. Here's what we've got going on. Um, went ahead and thawed out the watermelon beef. Uh, this is my preferred method for doing thawing for basically any type of meat that's frozen. Uh, I like to fill up a big bowl of water, put it in there. Uh, the more water uh, it's larger volume, so more specific heat for there to transfer to from the cold to the hot. Um, you can do it with cold water. If you need to thaw something out quickly, use hot water, obviously. So anyway, go ahead and dump this. And then slash this open. Yes, I already have washed my hands. It actually smells pretty good. It smells distinctly different from regular ground beef. I will note that much. Alright, so over here. Time to break up the meat. That's All right, so what we're doing is chopping all of this meat up. What looks like I'm getting ready to brown the, the burger. What I'm actually doing is cooking a specific style of burger to do this. I'm going to turn that fan on. Sorry if it makes it a little bit difficult to hear. Um, I don't want any of those fumes around. Um, so, what I am doing is a simple version of a smash burger. Uh, what you do, you basically break up the hamburger so that it covers the entire bottom of a decent sized skillet, um, obviously using an iron skillet. This looks to be about a 10 inch skillet. And then I'm obviously, again, smashing this down flat after I've broken everything up. So what's gonna go on, this is gonna cook for a bit. I guess I can leave it uncovered so you can actually see what's going on. So what's gonna happen is this is gonna cook for a bit and then we're going to um, just kind of let the the burger is going to be cooked about halfway through when we actually go and turn it um, and what I'm going to do is at the point that I turn it obviously I'm not going to try and turn it as a big flat patty because there's no possible way I'm going to be able to get that to work out 
Um, I've tried it before and I know it doesn't work. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to section this into four different pieces. And then with those four pieces, then I'm going to flip each of those. And what I end up with is four sections that are approximately the regular size of a hamburger patty. And doing it this way, I don't know exactly what the deal is, but with just regular ground beef, it makes it taste magical. So this is just gonna be a comparison for what's going on with this watermelon beef. And it'll give us a real honest test to see if this actually is gonna taste good or meh, that it's the same, uh, or if it's going to taste absolutely phenomenal and way better than regular hamburger, which of course, with all the hype that's on the website, uh, I'm expecting this to taste magically good. Um, anyway, we shall find out. Sure is sounding like it's sizzling rather nicely. Yep, the grease is definitely hot. It also helps once you're, if you're browning hamburger just in general, to have just a, a grease catcher. I don't actually know what these are called. So. So far I've never gotten it to work absolutely perfect, but as long as you get them pretty close, it's usually good enough. And regardless, they're smash burgers, so they taste so amazing that nobody ever cares what they look like once they taste them. They just want more. So keep that in mind. You see your burgers all messed up and breaking apart and so on and so forth. Your smash burgers, doesn't matter. They're going to taste amazing. They don't need to look good to be the best burgers you've ever had. And that's usually about what happens. are getting pretty close to done. And what I do? I'm going to call that good. Notice this is a lot thinner than a regular hamburger. I don't know what it is. There's some sort of magic in that. If you have them thin like that, they taste amazing. Let's get some burgers made.
see how these are compared to regular burgers. I'm just going to try this. Ouch, 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 ouch. Yep, that's, that's still really hot. All right, here we go. That is really, really good. And you can taste a little bit of a difference. It's not, it's not exactly just like regular uh, ground beef. There is, there is something that puts a little bit of an edge on it. I would say that it puts it definitely better than regular ground beef. So yeah, um, I'd give it two thumbs up, but one of my thumbs is currently busy. So um, one greasy thumb up. 